We have a new coffee table. We have two new end tables and two faux leather chairs. And once they placed everything, I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. It totally warmed up the space, even though they're black. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. I first want to start off this video by saying thank you. You guys, thank you so much for your love and your support on my Wednesday's video. You guys mean so much to me and your thoughtful, kind, sweet comments. Some of you gave me a little pep talk, which I desperately needed. I, I have to tell you, sometimes when you have that negativity on you all the time, it wears on you. It really does. And I remembered my Red Boots video. You have the highs, you have some lows. And when you've got those lows, you got to put back on those red boots and get to walking and not let people steal your thunder. It happens and I let it get to me. I let many of those comments get to me and I just want to thank you guys for encouraging me to go on and do my thing. Thank you. Thank you guys. I also want to let you guys know I just chopped four inches off the bottom of my hair and it feels so much better. And I love it. I love the links gone. So anyway, it's kind of fun to play with now. And, and, and I know some of you guys said that you tried the haircut and you love it. And then I had a lot of you saying, you've been doing the butterfly cut for years. I, I had no idea. I don't get on a lot of social media other than YouTube. So a lot of people were saying they saw this on Instagram or Snapchat or all this other stuff, which I'm not on. So um, anyway, I'm glad I did it. I saved money and I think it's it's something I'll be able to maintain. And I can put my money towards home decor instead of hair. Hair, home decor. Hair, no, definitely home decor for me. So this morning, Ashley Furniture showed up. I have a new coffee table and two new end tables and I got a bed for upstairs. I'll probably be doing a guest bedroom soon but today we have the furniture. I don't know that I want to style it today. A lot of you were saying, Liz, you need lamps to warm up the space. It's, that's what's missing. Totally agree, but the builder did not put any outlets in the flooring. So we have nowhere to plug in. Many of you suggested battery operated lights or rechargeable light bulbs. And I just, I don't have any right now to do the styling properly. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. I am thinking of hanging this right there. Yep, let's do it. I've got to go run and get the ladder. I know it's hard to see. It's kind of dark in here right now, but I'm planning to put some um, pretty wall sconces on either side that are long and scrolly. Anyway, I'm debating on candle wall sconces or lanterns um, that would go on either side and it will help kind of fill in and scale that more appropriately. Right now by itself, it's kind of like eh, but it will look better, but I'm just not gonna do that today. Well, I love this space and I thought these olive stem branches would be beautiful in this for summer. So I'm going to play with these and bend them, give them some movement, and we'll see how it looks. So I think this looks really pretty. But I thought I might go in with these on the bottom to give it a nice contrast because these are darker, these are lighter leaves, those stand more upright, and these are more floppy. This may be good to use as the base. So darling, please pull me closer. turned out really cute. I like the droopy branches on the bottom and I like these taller branches up top. See, so I think this turned out really pretty and it can go virtually anywhere. We did the olive branches and the droopy eucalyptus branches mixed in 
and I love it. That is definitely going in the kitchen. It's gonna replace this, I'll show you. I'm going to replace this with the olive branches. love these picks. They are so pretty. You guys, listen to that. What the heck? This, this noise has been going on and on and on all morning. It, it's, it's like it starts and then it stops. It starts and then it stops. So I almost want to get another pack or two and just make it look really big and bodacious. But I really like how, I mean, I need to play with this, but I love how that looks. So I might style this on the new coffee table with some coffee table books. So you guys, I'm sorry this video is all over the place. I am so tired, so tired. I told you guys we are renting our other house and the new tenants are due to show up this week and they're moving in. So my husband and I were running around with our heads cut off trying to get that house ready to go. We also had to move um, one of our daughters out of her apartment. We are exhausted, exhausted. And we've got another daughter moving. We're probably gonna have to help her. She's going into another apartment. So. I'm so tired today. I didn't even want to do a video. I probably shouldn't have because this one's all over the place, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. But anyway, I got these cute prints on Amazon. I just wanted to share them with you and I might put these upstairs somewhere or perhaps in the guest room or I might hang them on the wall and do something like this. But I love botanicals. My next two pieces I am in love with. I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet, but they're so cute. I got these from Ashley Furniture. Let me do one at a time. There's this one. And I love the wood. was gonna hang them today, but I'm still not sure exactly where I wanna put these. And for my fashion gals, um, remember I told you a few shirts uh, didn't make the cut for the last um, haul video. I thought I would share these because I tried them on and they are super cute on. And so if you like tank tops and lightweight cardigans, you're gonna love these. Let me show you the first one. Here's a cute tank top V cut right here and it's flowy and it's cute. It, it's a little bit longer in the back, um, but I love it. I love the floral print and I believe this is more, it looks like kind of like a navy, but you could pair this with a white cardigan, a green cardigan, or like a navy cardigan. Or if you've got great arms, just wear it as is, but it's very cute. Got this tank top and I love it because it's kind of like pleated right here and it gives it a nice cute look and it's, again, it's nice and flowy. And again, you could pair this with any cute, like earrings and lightweight cardigans and you've got a great summer outfit. And then I just got this tank top, let's open it up. Comes nicely folded. Love this one because of the neckline. This will look pretty with some earrings that are sort of that tan color, um, but anyway, it almost feels like sort of a chiffon look and feel. And so it's got like a liner underneath. This is what it looks like. Anyway, this one looks really cute too. And uh, you could pair this with a tan, a black uh, lightweight cardigan, and maybe do some cute tan earrings or gold earrings. That would be pretty. Got this tank top, which I thought was really cute. I like the pattern on it. It's similar to this one. It's similar to this one, but just a different color, but it has like the little pleating right here. And um, I tried these on, these look really cute. I'll put a picture of what this one looks like right here. Oh, and if you like this cardigan, I'll put a picture of what it looks like right here. 
I got this on Amazon and I decided to go and have some fun with the earrings. And I got myself neon green earrings. I feel so 80s. I love coastal decor. Um, if you guys remember my other house, during the summer I used to always do the coastal look and feel. And so I found this book on Amazon and it's called Coastal Modern, Sophisticated Homes Inspired by the Ocean. And I will tell you, some really pretty pictures in here to get you inspired for summer. They have coastal modern basics. So I'm really into the coffee table books right now. I, I just, I'm loving them. So anyway, I found this book and it's called Inventing the California Look. And I haven't even opened it. That's what it looks like. And I like to get coffee table books in all different styles. Um, because I've really been enjoying learning about different styles and what they can bring to your home. And I think the more I can grab from here, grab from there, grab from there, um, the more, more interesting look I may have here in the house. At least that's my goal. And then I got this book and I like how it looks on the side too. I like how they look together. Lastly, I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna show you the new chairs, the coffee table, the two end tables. I, I need to play with this room arrangement and my decor, and we'll probably work on that next week. So anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm really excited about this coffee table because I have not had one this large in, I don't even know how many years. Um, I've had an ottoman. Um, so this will be really fun to style both on top and below. So there's that, but you can see it's really pretty. Then we got these two black faux leather chairs and they are so soft and pretty. I just, I love the way they feel. And I love the stitching right there and it goes really well with the carpet. And then here's the coffee table. Now, when the Ashley Furniture people came in, they just set them here. I, I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. I've gotta play. And then we have another one over here. But I think it goes well with the flooring. It kind of pops. And so we'll be doing that next week. All right, friends, that'll wrap up my video for today. Next week will be more, will be more exciting. I'm gonna plan and we'll do something fun. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Mwah. Bye guys.